I'm back with a new junk journal. This is called the Vampire Hunter's Diary. It surfaced a couple of years ago. Um, I made one back then, and I decided to make another one this year after seeing Lori W.'s um, video on it again. I remembered I had a lot of fun, and I have a friend who um, really likes Halloween, so I made this for her. Hi, Patty, <laughs> and uh, I hope she enjoys it. So this is the cover, and um, it's just a regular book that I that I used and took the guts out. Um, and then I found some clip art um, on the internet, just Googled it, and uh, found this cool bat, put him on the front with a, with a map that I found, and I just distressed it. Um, it's two signatures. And this is part of the Vampire Hunter's Diary, which I'll put the link below to where you can get this download. So what I do on the covers, I like to use um, the Liquitex. Hold on, I'll get that for you. Um, I think I've showed, I've showed you this before, but it's the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. And first I Mod Podge this on, then I put a coat of the gloss medium and varnish. And I just put it on with a stencil brush, just swirl it on, let it dry. Then I sand it very lightly. And then I like to use the finishing wax. Uh, this is what I use. And put that on there and let it dry. And then, and I use um, a big stenciling brush to put that on. So I just like this. And then I first take it off with a paper towel. And then I use a cloth. And the easiest way I've found to do this is I have just an old uh, hair product thing that I wrap around this. And it makes it really easy to get some buffing going. So you get a really cool finish. It feels... Um, not sure if it's exactly like leather, but it's just a really smooth, neat finish. So if you get a chance, try that. Um, I used a lot of Distress Inks. I used uh, Frayed Burlap, Vintage Photo, Fired Brick, um, Rusty Hinge, and Black Soot. And I used that throughout the book. And I also used these Distress Stains, um, Vintage Photo and Crushed Olive. And I just applied them. There was really no formula to how I did it. I just did whatever I thought looked good. You'll also see that I distressed the edges. And I actually even burned some of them. So anyway, let's go inside and, and look at this. Um, I tea dyed, coffee dyed all the paper and all of the images. This is just tracing paper, just plain old tracing paper. And I had this image and I stuck it between two. I like the way she looks sort of ghostly. So that's just tracing paper. And then we're just getting into the printouts here. Uh, I used the Tim Holtz Distress Tool. You've all seen that um, on the edges. And I'll just quickly go through this because you've probably seen this uh, half a dozen times. People. And it, the story really, it doesn't, I mean, you can read it. But it's really just something fun to have and look old and grungy. I uh, ended up also, once I put the, glued the paper down, I sanded it. So you'll see where there's some pieces that are um, missing. And then um, just, just kept going. I, I put a bookmark in here. And in some cases, like this, this guy, I uh, highlighted his eyes with Prisma pencils just to intensify it a bit. So I did that on some of them. Uh, this is that same bat that's on the front. And I'd found this again on the internet when I Googled. And I uh, just put him in there another image that I found. Uh, 
this was a lot of fun. Uh, the The order of it was kind of tough. Lori W. did a Word document that she sent to me that I could use. I think I ended up changing the order just a little bit, but for the most part, it's the same. And then I really wanted to get that kind of crunchy sound, so I put some more distress or uh, tracing paper in here. Uh, this is a combination of a couple pieces uh, and some stamping that I did. She was from another one. And when you sand it down, you actually can't feel the image any longer on the paper, which I like. Again, another image. Uh, this one came from the same place I got the one earlier that I showed you. So I hope uh, Patty likes it. And just It'll just be fun to have around the house at Halloween and just kind of, it's just sort of grungy. It's fun to read. Um, I took a map and folded it. And so that's a pullout. Get more images from the download. Another map and then that. And then I made a pocket. Oh, just a second. There's a map uh, that goes in here, and um, I just burn the edges. Again, I use that same technique that I told you about the Liquitex and then the, the wax. And it gives this a really nice feel. Anyway, this just goes in here like, like that. And then there's the back. So I'll put the links. Um, I'll list the products that I used, and then I'll put the links also for this download and also Lori W's and even Paper Addiction who did it, um, Michelle, who did it a couple years ago. She did one. They're all different. It's just fun to play with. And um, anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.